guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here thank you for joining me today so today we are going to attempt to do a look with the Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar palette I say attempt because I'm still feeling a bit off isn't it beautiful though guys I don't even know how many looks I'm gonna do with this probably three or four right we're going with a shade first this one down here and I am literally going stir crazy guys honestly I just want to go out now that's pigmented I'm just going to use the mirror of the palette today why is the fluff on my brush that's a really nice like transition shade and I've got to keep an eye on the time oh I've got oh great look what I've done oh I've dinted it all's well I've managed to smooth it in I've got to keep an eye on the time because oh it's 10 to don't have much time at eight o'clock my shot my stash is going up and i've made it premiere okay what now maybe this one Shall I use a different brush? Let's use, I think, oh, this is the W7 one, I think. So, yeah, let's use this. See what this does. Oh, that's beautiful. This palette, I feel like, is a cool lover's dream. So I was watching Angelica's um, video and she tested like 103 palettes over the year I think and it just made me wonder how many palettes had I tested. I don't think it's quite that many because I do like three, four or five days of looks with them but I bet it's at least 50 so maybe I should do a ranking on the ones that I tested last year but I feel like it's too late now what do you guys think? because we're in March maybe that should be a video for next year or this year should I say I think I'm going to run that all through the socket of the crease I'm not mad at this palette, I'm glad I got it right and then I think I'm gonna go in with this shimmer and I might go in with this topper or I might leave that for a different day let's just see I'm gonna go in with this side of the brush oh that's nice it's very sheer so it probably would have looked better if I put it on over this one it is quite sheer I 
This is a gorgeous palette. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't feel like you're going to be able to see this one over the top of it, but let's try. No, it's pointless because there are similar shades. So what I might do is I might try them to by themselves, like run that through the entire crease and into the socket, and then just use that as a topper. Um, maybe I'll do that later on in the week if I can. Um, yeah, I like the way that's looking. Just need to blend it out a bit. And then for the lash line, we're going to go in with this shade again. Just going to go in with this naked honey brush. liking it. The only thing that's missing from this palette is an inner corner highlight so I'm going to get something. Right I'm going to use this because this is beautiful. It's got two highlighters. I think I'll use this side on. Oh this is an Anastasia. This is an Anastasia brush so I'm going to use it for brow bone highlight. So just this side of it. It's a bit too dark and we're going to use it in the inner corners as well. Right and then mascara time. So let's go in with the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Just gives you that really nice false lash effect. Not too mad on that brush to be honest. I like one that's a little bit more curved. Right, so I used to really love this mascara from Essence, but I wouldn't say it's the best mascara I've tried from them, because I really did try a lot of mascaras in 2021. So we'll be doing that video really soon, I think. There's a few more that I want to try first. And then we just need to grab a lipstick, which in keeping with the Huda Beauty theme, I'm going to use a Huda Beauty one. It's the only one I've got. It's in the shade Dirty 30. And it's really, really nice. It's like a really nice cool tone. This is fast becoming one of my favourites. So it just looks like that. I think it will go really nice with the look because it's got that purple grey undertone. I 
want to get some more of these lipstick guys they're so so good there's a red one that I want um, are you surprised but there is a red one that I want I can't remember the name of it um, so we're just going to go in with the shade again on the finger and then it'll be time to conclude the video wow I really really like it What do you guys think? So this is day one look one. I feel like we're going to be doing three or four days with the palette. Um, so tomorrow I think... I don't know. I don't know whether... Right so guys I was just saying I don't know what look I'm going to do tomorrow. Maybe something with this gold here. Um, I'm so mad at myself for dinting it like that. Maybe something with the gold there. Oh, this shade looks really, really pretty as well, and even this shade here. So I think I'm going to leave the purple shade here, probably to last. Like I said before, I will put that all over the lid and into the crease. And I think that would make a really nice colour combo, and maybe even deepen it out with this pure black here. Um, but yeah, this is the look for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really think the lip goes with the overall look so yeah again that's what we're looking like i'm hoping in the following days i'm gonna feel a lot better at the moment i'm still feeling a bit crappy um but yeah i'm hoping i'm gonna be a little bit better probably now you'll be able to know what's wrong with me it's what we can't really talk about here on youtube um so i don't want to say too much because i don't want this video not to go up but from me saying that I can imagine that you know what I have um, but hopefully I'm like coming out of it now and I'm going to be better in the next few days so it's my niece's birthday on Friday um, I have to isolate till Saturday till the 5th of March um, just saying isolation you guys know what it is I'm going absolutely stir crazy and I need to be filming videos because I'm used to doing it daily and I've not filmed anything for a week now um, so yeah I want to be sat down talking to you guys I miss you guys so so much that's why I've been putting most of my videos up as premieres I don't normally do that just to have that interaction with you guys I've really been enjoying doing that um but yeah um this is it for now thank you so much for joining me i really do appreciate it and i'll see you tomorrow for day two look two hopefully see you later guys hey guys so today is day two look two with the beautiful huda beauty wild jaguar palette so it's just going to be a quick look with i think the shade here um that shade there and that shade there we'll see um so just let's get into it i'm just going to use this no name brush to put that shade on the lid now it's a bit dark hopefully it'll blend out fine okay I'm hoping that this one isn't going to show up too dark so we're going to go in with that dark brown it is the darkest in the palette so it could do but then we'll, then we'll try and blend it out a bit
blending out really well. Take it into the out of the Right, I'm literally just going in like that, not getting much on the brush at all. And this brush is my B. <coughs> this brush is from Superdrug, it's the B range, I think it's the wrong range. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm struggling with my throat a little bit. I would have thought that on day 7 I'd be feeling a bit better, but... Yeah, it's just not happening. Right, I'm going to use this um, white chocolate shade for the brow bone. Okay. <clears throat> Now I'm going to go in with this side of this Anastasia brush and we're going to use this shade. This is the deepest shade in the palette. I was going to use this shade today but I think I'll use that one. Go really smoky. I don't know whether to spritz the brush because it's pretty dark as it is. Okay, let's just try it then. I don't think it's going to get any more filed than that. And then I'm going to go in with that shade there to blend out 
the deeper shade. Just a tiny bit. And then for the inner corners, I'm going to try this shade here. And then for the lash line, we're going to go back in with that shed there. And then for mascara we're going to go on with the Essence Lash Princess, the false lash effect. Not to show sure whether I like this anymore. It's not as good as I remember it. I think that's part of the problem. I'm just going to blend out a little bit. Then we're going to put some lipsticks on, we're going to put a combo on, um, so we're going to put Emmyways Velvet Lip Lacquer Unity and also Posh Spice, Jeffree Star Posh Spice, so I don't know which one to go in with first, maybe this one for the most part. Let that dry down a bit. While that's drying down, I'm just going to put a little bit more of that on the lids. Oh, that shade is absolutely beautiful. I don't know whether I like that shade more now or that shade that's a shade of it it's like an olive um but like on a brown base really nice this might be my favorite huda palette i feel like it's not blended properly And then we're going to go in with Unity. Now 
Now doing that, now mixing those two lipsticks, the Jeffree Star one and the MUA one, is give me the look of my Primark one. So that's what it's looking like. Except the Primark one does have a little bit more of a grey tinge, but this is the best I'm going to get to kind of get a dupe of that. It's strange really because the Jeffree Star one is a very expensive lipstick and the Primark one was only about £3, £3.50. Anyway, this is the overall look guys. Let me know which look you like the best. Um, so this is day two, look two. So I'll see you tomorrow for day three, look three. Hi guys, so we're doing day three, look three with this Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar palette. So that's what she looks like. And I think I'm going to use this gold today. So let's just get into it. Um, yeah, we'll use this one again. So just a slight wash of colour. I think I might put some of this black on the outer V. I'm just going to use that brush. Now, I wouldn't normally use black, but let's see what it looks like. Just blending it out a bit. And then I think I'm just going to use my finger with this gold here. So that's what it looks like. Oh, that's nice. These shimmers are really, really glittery. But not in a bad way, they're just really, really nice and really soft. I think I'm just going to go into the white chocolate in this palette and the Too Faced chocolate bar. Wipe that off and then go back in with the black from that palette.
Then I'm going to go on with this brush and we're going to go in with this shade here. And I'm just going to use the Champagne Truffle from the Too Faced palette as well. Right, so negative so far on this palette is it doesn't have an inner corner highlight, but other than that I'm really liking it. Now let's put some mascara on. and grab a lip here. Right, so I'm going to use this one because it's got a lip liner and a lip crayon. So, we use that side first. Right, so I've just put that all over, I've just fully lined the lips, so now we're going in with the crayon, which is a lot deeper. The worst thing about red lipstick is it gets on my teeth, but this is the finished look guys. So let me know which look you like the best, days 1, 2, 3. I'm going to be back tomorrow with days 4. I think we're doing 5 days with this palette, so we've got 2 more looks to do yet. So tomorrow I think I'll use those 2 shades there. So that all over the lid and into the crease like we talked about in the previous video and then that as a topper and then we'll come back on day five and use this really nice um smoky shade here it is a little bit similar to this one but that one's slightly darker but yeah we're gonna um end this video here for today and i'll see you tomorrow for day four look for guys Hey guys, so today we are going in with day four look four with the beautiful Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar palette. It really is a stunner. I was going to go in with a shade here, this really cool toned, I'd say top, but I really want to use this kind of topper with this shade here. Um, I'm a bit behind with these looks, really this should have been finished yesterday, um, but I've not been putting makeup on for a few days just because I've had 
other things to do. Anyway, um, what we're going to be doing, I think I'm just going to go in with this shade first. Um, let's get a brush. Try this one. This one's clean. So this one is the BH Cosmetics 120. Oh, I need to put it all over, Donna. So we'll just start in the crease then. It needs to go on the lids. I should have really powdered. Yeah, I should have powdered that white um, I should have based down. I'm just going to build up the shade though. Now I feel like I want to blend that out a little bit. I'm going to go in with the shade here. Oh gosh, you can hear the wind outside. I think I'll go in with this Primark brush as well just to get a bit more pigment from this matte shade here. Oh, it's got a different colour on the other side. Right, I think that'll do. Now I'm just going to go on with my finger with this really beautiful shade here. It's absolutely stunning. I'm hoping I'm going to get enough pigment because I've laid that matte shade down. Um, glitter glue. Right, so the glitter glue that we're going to be using is just this W7 Sparkle Stay, or is it Slay? Sparkle Stay Glitter and Shimmer Primer. So you've uh, Sparkle Stay or Sparkle Slay, I can't make out, I think it's Stay, Sparkle Stay, I think that's what it's called. But in any case, it's a W7 one. I think it's meant to be a dupe for the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I mean, let's face it, they're all dupes for Too Faced Glitter Glows because, oh, a bit too much on that, um, because that one came out first, in my opinion anyway, and then all these other brands brought their own out. That should be better. Yeah, it looks so much better. I 
I'm just going to build it up and build it up to what I want it to look like. I mean, you know me, I do like a lot of pigmentation from my eyeshadows and I don't really go in for these kind of toppers. But this one is absolutely stunning. I think originally I wanted a different palette. I think it was... I um, can't remember the name of it. I think it was a green one that they did. I don't think they did a yellow one, did they? Otherwise I would have got that. And then I'm sure I saw Naomi with this palette. I don't know if she did a look with her, um, but I saw it on her channel. And then I'm like, that is so pretty. And then I looked at it in Boots. It was on sale for Black Friday. Not by much, only by 10% or 15%. And I'm like, this shade, it's all about that shade there. Um, I'm like, I need it for that. And you can build it up to be like just a normal shimmer. That's what I'm doing now. I don't think you'd get this pigment with a brush. that'll do it oh that is pretty right are we gonna put anything on kind of on the outer V part of me wonders about putting this black down just a tiny bit of it Just to deepen it out a bit. Right, and then I think I'm going to go in with this brown. I don't want to go in with a black. Um, because it's too deep but I think the brown would be really good to deepen it out on the lash line And then I'm going to go with the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. And I'm trying to figure out what lipstick I can wear with this look. Part of me wants to try corset but the last time I tried corset it was too light. So I might bring out my Primark one as well because they're both kind of cool toned lipsticks. So let me just go and grab them. So both of those. I'm going to try corset by itself first. Don't know if that's expired. Yeah, it's that really peachy undertone that I don't like from a lipstick. But we'll wait for it to dry down. If I still don't like it, we'll put some of this on. I need to use this anyway. Um, so I'll be back in a sec. Right, so I don't know what's making me change my mind this time around. 
but I remember using it a while ago, the um, NYX lingerie one in corset. So you can see it is really, really pale and it does look pale on me. But I've got a cool toned look going on this time around. So I like it a little bit more. It's not my usual colour. It's got a lot of peach undertone and I don't normally like that kind of nude. I normally go for more of a pinky nude. But I thought I would try this gloss with it anyway. I mean, I mean, I like it without the gloss as well, but I've not had this on for ages. It's in the shade Skinny Dip. Is this the one I want to wear? I'm sure I had one in Aquarius. Let me just go and check. Yeah, I do. I, this one's more brown tone. So this is Aquarius. I won't be wearing that today. And this one's kind of a more cool toned. It's like the gloss equivalent of this Primark one. Um from recollection it's called skinny dip maybe just pop a little bit on yeah can you see it's got that purple undertone Actually that looks better because obviously I'm wearing purple eyeshadow um, so it does look better. I don't tend to use glosses um, but in this instance we'll make an exception. I have only got a few glosses in my collection. I tend to like more of a matte liquid lipstick or a matte bullet lipstick. Um, I don't really like creams or satins. I'm very picky about lipsticks these days. I do have cream and satin lipsticks in my collection. Um, I just don't use them a lot. So anyway, this is the overall look. What we need to do is we need to put something on the brows. I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And we're going to put that white chocolate shade on the brows. And then we're going to put something on the inner corner as well. It's probably just going to be the shade Champagne Truffle. Because that's in the palette. And while I'm using some shades up in here, I may as well, I may as well use that shade. So that's that one done. Yeah. Oh, I can't show you because it's Project Pan. Um, but I'm going to go in now with Champagne Truffle just on the inner corners. It's a nice pink highlight, so it goes well. It goes well with the eyeshadow. And then, we all know what I'm going to do now, what I always do last, go back in with some more of the shimmer that's all over the lid. This is like the last step that I always do, it's kind of become an obsession now. Oh yes. Right, so this is what we're looking like. So now guys, we've only literally got one shade to test and I can do a review on the entire palette. So <coughs> it's that one there. And I'll do you a swatch. It's real, really pretty. That one there. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing that tomorrow and then I can put this away. Now at the moment, the next palette that you voted for guys, I did put all my eyeshadow palettes in the community poll and you voted for the Wilderness palette that were in my shop, my stash for this month. Um, so yeah, you want to see the Wilderness palette next. I think I'll do four looks maybe. I'm going to try and do, I'll just show you what my plan is. Right, so my plan is to use this palette and to do a look with every single row. Now I'm going out of my comfort zone with two of these rows. These blues, I'm not very good at doing blue eyeshadow looks. Um, Naomi's the queen of doing them. So if you like to see um, a blue eyeshadow look, go and check her channel out. It's Beauty Dreams by Naomi. 
and then the greens like these teals here I think I'll be okay and then these greens down here and yellow tones I know I'll be okay because they're what I gravitate towards but these reds here they scare me more than the blues do so the reds um Lisa from Banning Panning and Beyond does amazing red eyeshadow looks but yeah I'm gonna try and do my best with this palette um and we're going to be doing four days four looks with that as well and then when I've nearly finished this like on day two I will let you vote for the next palette that you want to see but I feel like you guys will want to see the menage a moi what is this what's the second one in the lead let's have a look okay so this was five days ago hey beauties I'm currently using Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar palette which palette from this month's shop my stash rotation would you like me to use next and 78% got the votes for the wilderness palette and then 11% got menage a moi and then BH Cosmetics Mrs Bella only got 11 um all oh right so they're a tie so menage a moi and BH Cosmetics are a tie so I've definitely got to put another vote up to see which one you want to see first I've got a feeling you guys will choose the colour part one not 100% sure but I've got a feeling that you will um you could surprise me but yeah um that's what we're going to be doing for the next four days once we've used the um Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar which will be finished tomorrow um hopefully anyway if I can put makeup on so yeah um this concludes this part of the video hi guys so we're going to be doing the final look with the Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar palette so it's just a really simple look with this shade here as a star of attraction um I think I will go in with that shade because it is the lighter shade and then maybe use this brown down here that to blend everything out and then that all over the lid Right, let's use this Primark brush first of all. So as I said, this is the last look. So tomorrow I'm going to do the Get Ready With Me using all the new products that I got for my birthday mainly. Then I'll go in with that brush there. I'm just taking it into the middle of the crease two three four looks so it's the luke's smoky shader brush and we're going to go in with this shade here it's picked up quite a bit of that color they're very sheer i'm 
it is a beautiful palette and I do recommend it, it's beautiful. A nice palette to give you that glamorous look, in my opinion anyway. And I don't normally like tones like this. When I say tones like this, I mean cool toned eyeshadow. I think I'm going to go in with this purple in the inner corners. Because it's not, it's not that pigmented. I want to put that all over that top shade I know it defeats the purpose but that's what it looks like without that's what it looks with such a beautiful shade and you can still see the top underneath just makes it sparkle more and for lash line we're just going with that brown shade there And then we'll go in with the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. And I'm just going in with that cream ivory shade there to blend everything out. And we'll just go and grab a lippy. Right, so I'm going to use this one. Um, I did tell you about this a few weeks back. It's one of Kylie's lip blush. And this one is in the shade 314 Cherry on top. I've never tried this formula before so it just looks like that. Let's try this on. Right, so right off the bat with this, it's, it's not as pigmented as her liquid formula. Um, they remind me of the NYX, what are they called? I know I had one. Um, so they remind me of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. It's more like a mousse than an actual liquid lipstick. So you just need to bear that in mind if you were to get one. Um, 
the palette though guys if you like cool toned eyeshadows I think you're absolutely gonna love this even if you don't I mean I'm not a cool toned lover you'll know that if you watch my channel um, but this palette has completely won me over I absolutely love it especially these purple tones here so there's this grey purple here um, this one here and then this one here they're my favourite shades but I do actually like these tops as well that one and then that's more like an olive top um, and the gold's really pretty as well I like every single shade in here to be honest um, it's a really really nice palette I did get mine in the Black Friday sales like I said at the beginning of the week I only saved about 15% on it so I think they retail for £27 normally and I paid around £22. Um, every little bit helps, right? But I would say it's definitely worth full price anyway. Um, so this is kind of the mini review for the Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar palette. So we're going to leave this video here because at this point it's been long enough. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know which look you like the best. One, two, three, four, or 5 and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.